Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Good morning, it's six o'clock on Saturday the 10th of July. Just making my way down to the land and as always, not quite sure what we're going to get done today, but let's find out. Well, here we are down on the land. It's a, a bit of a damp and it was certainly misty when I was driving in. Kind of a morning. Not too cold, so it's quite pleasant. Somebody mentioned borage in one of my comments. <laughs> That's the borage I planted out. Uh, it was last weekend or the weekend before? I don't remember now. Um, there's all kinds of stuff been popped in there uh, just to try and get a bit of variety outside of the rose bushes and brambles that's in there. Grass is looking quite nice where I got it cut the other weekend. Uh, just in case people were worried about the lack of clover. Um, there isn't a lack of clover. <laughs> it's popped up on the other side of the field extremely quickly so no shortage of flowers for the bees to uh, to forage on. Um, we're a bit weather dependent this weekend. It is forecast for rain, and as you can see, it is clearly wet underfoot. So I guess, as usual, we'll be making it up as we go along. Um, did notice something a bit disappointing when I came down during the week to uh, water because. <laughs> Unlike today, it's been hot all week and I have had to come down and water uh, the garden. So I did see something a little bit disappointing, um, but we'll pick that up a little bit later on as I go around the garden with you. But for now, I'm going to get myself opened up, get the kettle on and sort out the chickens. Well, first things first, as usual, sort the chickens out. <laughs> They've got their mixed corn to peck at. I've, uh, <clears throat> I'll be popping some greenery in a little bit later. I'm just waiting to see if it uh, dries out any. Let's have a little pop in the, uh, let's grab the box, pop inside the coop, see what's going on in there. <laughs> it's a bit darker in here than usual. Bit of mess to clean out, as always. Scruffy chickens. Uh, well, to be fair, food and water is not too bad. So, what we got? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, we've got three in there. So, let's drag those out. I did empty out as usual on. Uh, Thursday night, so this is just one day. <coughs> so that's three. And another two in here. So that's five. So one of the chickens again has been lazy. <laughs> just checking to make sure it's not got even really lazy and abandoned one on the floor, but it hasn't. So I'll bob back in, in a little while and do a clean out as usual. Uh, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. They are quite content there, just pecking around. They are funny. This cockerel, <laughs> sometimes I'll come down and he just casually looks at me. And other times I come down and... Uh, he tries to have a go. <laughs> uh, they're quite content there, just pecking around. They'll be keener once I bring the greenery down. For some reason, they get really carried away. Talking about greenery, it is looking nice on the field. Everything uh, has really quickly come back on this side that I cut. Amazing amount of clover this year, but that's nice because it's good food for the bees. 
the uh, elderberry plants flowers have gone starting to form their berries and they are everywhere look all of this is covered in elderberry that's one thing I'm not short of on this field all the way around here looks like we're gonna have a bumper crop this year loads of them which is good I'll be making something out of that later oh bit of a ruckus going on in there that was one of the uh, the grey bluebells having a peck at one of the red ones that's why they call it pecking order <laughs> right let me get yourself in the cabin get the coffee on and we'll see if we can have a little chat well good morning it's the weekend <laughs> how much do we all look forward to the weekend when we're sat at work Monday to Friday I know I certainly do <laughs> can't wait for Friday to come round been a bit of a strange week this week uh, it's been strange at work but uh, it's been strange weather wise uh, had a bit of rain on I think it was Tuesday Tuesday night which was the first after all of the promise of the thunderstorms for an entire week previous um, that didn't appear it was nice to see a little bit of rain on Tuesday but then it went back to type <laughs> and we had uh, dry hot sunny days so I've been down I didn't come every day this week I came Tuesday Thursday I maybe ought to have done Wednesday as well with hindsight which is a wonderful thing um, because some of the plants were looking a bit dry um, but they've survived all right I've just actually popped a bit of water on the tomatoes while I was uh, boiling the kettle and we'll take a little run around uh, the garden to see what's been happening this week um, as I mentioned at the start of today's video a um, bit of a disappointment on uh, one aspect uh, but <clears throat> what can you do <laughs> uh, wherever you are and wherever you're doing I hope you're staying safe and well um, and you can now kick back and enjoy your weekend um, during the week, I, I religiously check. I can just hear the chickens started reproducing eggs now. Now I've emptied the nest box. I don't know if you'll hear that though. Maybe it's the lazy one from yesterday heard me <laughs> and has decided to produce. Um, I digress. I uh, keep an eye on the on the land in the cabin with my CCTV during the week. Um, just to make sure all is well and also to just see what uh, wildlife is roaming around and it's quite surprising um, what I do pick up uh, I'll if I remember in the edit I'll pop a couple of little very short couple of second long video clips off the cameras of stuff that's been wandering by the cabin It also picked up uh, some odd behaviour out on the, uh, the raised beds. And I'll probably mention that when we run around the garden uh, in a short while. Um, whatever's going on in the big wide world, lots and lots and lots of talk now. Um, I've spoken about these things numerous times, really from the start of this year. Um, but mainstream media is now talking about uh, these things more. Inflation, um, lots of talk of that on the media. Um, most of it though following the, the government line of yes, inflation is a lot higher than expected, but don't worry, it's a transitory thing. Uh, it'll be gone soon. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how long they keep that up because uh, we're into July already and uh, we still have it <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that we're going to see more and more of it as we go through this year 
Um, supply chain also making the news. Um, that wasn't really in the news. There was a little bit when that big ship got stuck in the Suez Canal a few months ago. I don't know if you remember that or not. Um, but it's not really been a topic of conversation. But I've noticed this last couple of weeks it is more and more in the news, particularly around shortages of uh, truck drivers. And I popped a comment on the community tab yesterday. Um, as usual on a Friday, when I, I come home, I stop at the supermarket, get a few bits of shopping and fill up um, the diesel tank on the car. And last week I noticed a repetition of the diesel shortage. You might remember maybe a couple of months ago, we had a spate of about four weeks in a row where there was a sign up saying diesel's only available on these four pumps out of, I don't know how many there are, eight, ten. Um, that went away for a few weeks and last week it was back, shortage again. And yesterday it was back, shortage again. Um, I've always said I don't really know why that is, because we don't generally get affected by fuel shortages. We, our supply chain for that kind of thing is quite robust. Um, it's coming from fairly close to home, literally <laughs> about 60, 70 miles that way uh, is the main pipeline coming in from Norway. Um, so somebody did comment, I think it was Lady Fisher, and said that they thought perhaps it was around the shortage of truck drivers. And on reflection, I'm kind of inclined to agree. I can't think of another reason why it would be and especially so regularly as well and that might also account for the uh, the shortage on fresh vegetables i've mentioned that to death in my channel um, and that was evident again yesterday um, there was zero broccoli on the shelf very few potatoes on the shelf um, so yeah supply chain clearly still is an issue and again i suspect um, that will be an issue all the way through the rest of this year. Um, other than that, it's pretty much as normal. I don't know why, but even with the relaxation of COVID regulations now, um, it's still really dominant in the mainstream media. It's as if they want to just keep the hype going, even though COVID's gone, really. Um, they just want to keep that going and keep that going. It's as if we're being set up for something else a little bit further down the line in terms of restrictions and trying to use that COVID as an excuse um, to maintain that bit of control, those extra restrictions. And perhaps to divert attention away from the other and more important things that are hiding in the background with the economy and the supply chain. I don't know. I speculate. <laughs> but there clearly is some kind of agenda going on there for them to just keep up this. It's almost relentless. Every news bulletin has something to do with Covid in it. And I've noticed a lot of additional new programmes specifically around uh, COVID and the climate, which I've not really heard much about <laughs> lately. So I don't know. Um, it, the message is, is definitely just been pumped out incessantly to try and keep people a little bit on edge and a little bit more under control. Anyway. I'm talking away here, I'm not drinking this coffee. I need to be, I do want to get out and have a little look around. I'll share the garden with you and uh, we'll see what we can get done today. Though given the weather, it is, it, I don't think you can hear it, but it is actually still raining. It's that light, continuous drizzle that you get that somehow seems to make you more wet. Than a, than a torrential downpour does. Don't quite know how that works, but it does. 
Um, so yeah, we'll get out and have a little look, but I'm not expecting to get too much done outside today. Whatever I do get up to, I will share with you as we go through the video. And uh, please do make sure that you take the time off to enjoy your weekend. And don't forget to keep on top of your preps. Well, <clears throat> let's have a little run around, see what we've got in terms of planting. Uh, that's still empty. <laughs> Not quite sure what to do with that. Um, apart from at the end of the year, when I'll be doing a little experiment to see where I can grow through the winter period. Um, trees are all doing fine. There's plenty of uh, new growth on these. Everywhere I look, really, there's new growth. So quite content with those. <clears throat> Other than the big debate as to whether or not I put them outside. Lots of new greenery coming on all of these. Which is good because I did get worried. Uh, it's only a matter of what, a month ago when we had that really hot spell. These were suffering. Um, well, you can still see some evidence of that <laughs> on these. Um... It does get scorching hot in here too much probably for um, trees like this uh, outside that's my fuel can it's been rolling around in the boot of the car all week <laughs> I topped it up after I finished cutting the grass last weekend and uh, didn't get into the shed to uh, pop it away I will today um, chickens veg garden still plenty of veg in there for them um, I did plant, something's been digging there, look, in that corner. Um, I did plant out some more, but I don't see any signs other than grass. So no sign of the new lettuce coming through yet. Uh, outside, <clears throat> the raised beds. <laughs> what can I say? Um, I've had some issues. I've had issues with potatoes. Something has been pecking away at these on the flowers, which is a tad annoying. Something's been digging around in the uh, true potato seeds. Thankfully, not much damage on those. Um, I noticed on the CCTV in this uh, container it was quite surprising actually you can see here look the damage and I did get a I had no clue what was doing it but just really by chance I happened to look at the CCTV late one afternoon and I'll pop a little clip in here if I remember in the edit and the culprit was actually crows. Now I wasn't sure why they were having a go, but I think now I know I was looking around in here earlier on while the kettle was boiling and you see this here look bloody slugs and they are literally everywhere the more I look the more I find you can see here on these potatoes there they are they are literally everywhere and clearly something's been having a chew at these potatoes you can see on these leaves here now I'm not sure if that's birds or if it's these damned slugs there are loads of them pretty much in every bed out here another huge disappointment what's missing in this picture <laughs> yep Every one of those cauliflowers I put out 
has gone. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing, and it is only a guess, that it's bloody pigeons because there is evidence, look on here, of bird droppings. And I think maybe this netting is not quite tight enough and they're able to land on it and then peck through. It is me just guessing and that's all I can do because I've not seen it. But the whole bed has been picked clean. Uh, onions and garlic, no problems there. Uh, you'll remember I pulled out a garlic um, earlier on in the year from this bed um, and that's dried out real well. It's in the cabin still. The new ones, for some reason, seem to be suffering a bit. And looking at the leaves, I can only guess that that's weather and lack of water, which again is a bit of a shame. The strawberry beds, uh, they're just about done now, though having said that, look, <laughs> they've been pecked at. That strawberry is mm, very sweet, actually. But look. Now there's one managed to survive there. Not quite ready. So yeah disaster on the raised beds um, something's been in here because these seeds are coming up these are Swedes um, in rows so that's a nice little row that's a nice little row and then round here <laughs> I did not plant like this uh, so something's been digging around and spreading them absolutely no sign of the peas that I put in none whatsoever so clearly not the year for peas something's even been picking around at this borage look there's flowers all over the place uh, it's not rabbits for sure it's uh, birds um, no sign in this bed of the uh, cauliflower oh hang on a minute I'm telling fibs, let me just run round the other side. I was about to tell you there's nothing happening, uh, but there is. There we go, we've got some seedlings coming through. There's one there, there's another one here. Uh, so that's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I guess the burning question now is, can this bed survive? Because clearly you can see birds are roosting on here sweet corn still doing well though again uh, it looks like some of these have had been had a go at we've got broken leaves off here it's certainly not the rain that's done that <laughs> so we definitely have a bird problem It's not the rabbits. Look, these bloody slugs are literally everywhere. Every single where I look, they're there. Ah, dear. And there, look. Damn it. So, <clears throat> polytunnel. I guess it's a good job I didn't take this plastic cover off. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have the same issue in here. <clears throat> um, it's been a, a struggle again this week, keeping on top of the water and for these. There is a bit of curling on some of the leaves, but nothing dramatic, thankfully. Lots of flowers. <clears throat> and we have got tomatoes. A couple on that one. Not as many as I would like. There's a couple more on here. Not as many as I would like, but we have got some. One on that plant as well. Uh, don't see any on that one. Flowers. Flowers are plenty, but 
no tomatoes same on this one F flowers are plenty but no sign of tomatoes yet on that one and again lots and lots of flowers <clears throat> but I'm not seeing tomatoes on this one either oh I'm telling the lie look there is there's one there uh yes flowers oh and there is a tomato there look uh on this one also flowers and again tomatoes so i suppose i shouldn't complain really cucumbers loads and loads of flowers on those absolutely loads it's rammed back there with flowers if i move some of these leaves around you'll see and we have actually got a cucumber there, look, just starting to form, this one. Oh, and there's a couple more at the back. Don't know if you'll see from here or not, that one there's got a, a cucumber on. And likewise down here, lots and lots and lots of flowers on there. Amidst the tomatoes. Um, no sign of figs yet. At some point this year I am going to take cuttings off this and try and propagate some more fig trees uh, but the blueberry bush is doing well this one I've been eating these again <laughs> I think I put a something on the community tab one night this week but uh, there's still lots to go at on here not quite big enough yet uh, but there are plenty of them carrots I've got those empty containers there. I'm tempted to uh, pop some seeds in there today. And the rest of the carrots in the various stages are all equally doing well. Um, I've no doubt buried amongst there, there are some slugs because I did find one earlier when I uh, popped in to pop some water on these while the kettle was boiling. Um, yeah, slugs. Every everywhere I look, we've got them. So, bit of a mixed bag, some success, and uh, <laughs> a bit of failure. <laughs> but <clears throat> what can I do? What can I do? Anyway, let me get myself sorted out. I'll make a decision as to what I'm doing. I'm in two minds. Do I lift another? container of potatoes because I suspect that they are just about ready now at that far end there um, I have got more spare containers around the back which are empty for a bit more succession planting and <clears throat> for a different kind of planting I've been doing a little experiment over the last what will it be six weeks now um, I've been taking little video clips once a week <laughs> um, on something new so I might just pop that out tomorrow so you can see where it is I'm talking about I guess you'll find out so let me get back in the cabin I'll get some greenery for the chickens and we'll decide what we're getting done today might be a bit of a short day given the weather well there we are a bit of greenery for the chicks they do enjoy it. They do. Old cockerel is a big bird. They're all nice and calm and content. Just having a quick stroll around, see what's out and about on the field. Blackberries are starting to come now. Everything's out of sync this year. But if you can see where it's coming all misty, <laughs> you can probably see a bit better over there. Farmers are out. Not quite sure where it is that they're uh, they're doing, but there's a little convoy been going past 
like not for the last 10-15 minutes so they're clearly busy somewhere I hope they're having more success than I am <laughs> Yeah, it's been a strange year this year, weather-wise. We're way behind in terms of of planting and harvesting than we should be. Way behind. Over a month, for sure. I mean, we're, uh, we're well into July already, and stuff just... just isn't growing. It's quite strange. Don't know if you guys are having the same issues or not. Uh... But yeah, yeah, seasons seem to have been all out of sync this year. I guess all we can do is wait and see what happens for the remainder of the year. It is pleasant just wandering around here, seeing how everything's coming along. Listening to the birdies tweeting away. I was debating looking at the bees today but it's a bit wet I don't really want to be opening up the hive and letting all the rain in the amount of flowers different flowers here is just unbelievable everywhere you look and the closer you look you see all this variety of blues and yellows loads of different things I have no clue what most of them are. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you can see that borage a bit better now. Lots of it. And hopefully it'll self-seed. And uh, we'll fill up this bit of a waste patch. With a bit more variety and a bit more food for the bees. Again, we've got lots of blackberries coming <clears throat> in here. Didn't get that much of a crop last year. The birds ate most of it. I'll have to see if we can do something about that this year and get some myself. I thought we'd take a quick peek <clears throat> just out of curiosity more than anything else. Not quite sure what's going on there. A lot of bees hanging around the entrance, but seemingly not doing very much. Certainly not flying in and out. If Simon's watching this, any ideas on what might be going on here? Well, this raised bed is really disappointing. <laughs> you can see it's just been picked clean all the way along, right down to the ground on every single one. Which is a bit of a shame. But we're not gonna give up. We're uh, going to pop over to this bed, which is the one I put out uh, the other weekend. And where the seeds are just starting to germinate. So I think, that's another one there, look. Uh, we'll just keep pushing on and we'll do this side of the bed.
you never know. We'll just keep pushing on and hopefully we'll get there. Well, never say never. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again. See what happens. Okay. Well, if there's any such thing as certainty <laughs> with the planting, uh, it's potatoes and carrots. I might have the odd failure here and there, but. Uh, in general I do have success with potatoes and carrots so planted another four containers of carrots let's see if we can't continue that success because the carrots for sure are working for me so I'll get these covered over get a bit more water on them and we'll see how we get on with those I just couldn't resist having a little look and seeing what's happening with this container of potatoes just checking to make sure there's no berries on here might be a little bit early with these I'm not sure slugs slugs are plenty Right, let's get rid of the foliage and take a little look and see what we've got. As I say, might be a bit early, but we'll see. Okay, start at the bottom. the compost because it will come in for another planting oh dear this is not looking very promising a lot of root in amongst this compost but not that many potatoes it seems nice clean very clean looking ones 
Yep. Well, the bottom is quite disappointing. I'm hoping there's some more inside. There we go. Small though. What I was saying earlier about the seasons being all out of sync is absolutely true. We, uh, oh, there's one there. We're definitely well behind. All right, let's take a little look. Oh, there's a rotted one there. Baby. Baby. Yeah, they're small. They are small. They'll still eat, but uh, you would hope for something a little bit bigger than that. More that kind of size. a lot of these little baby ones <laughs> there's some microscopic ones here <laughs> yeah awful lot of these small ones Not, not to worry. At least we know. green on that one. Yes. Early. I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, that's a, <laughs> tell a lie. definitely it now so let's get rid of this uh, soil and we'll see what we're left with well that's the result awful lot of baby ones in there there are some quite nice sized ones to be fair they're probably the better ones and then an awful lot of tiny baby things <clears throat> so there we go I think that
is really what you would call usable and these <clears throat> okay maybe some of those are not too bad so I think still very early we are definitely behind <clears throat> but in all honesty there's a few meals there for me because there is only me so I don't know three meals out of that well who remembers a few weeks ago when I uh, did the video about the pesky rabbits getting into that uh, garden area that I'd literally just fenced off <laughs> well thankfully I've managed to get uh, one of my mates in to help me out with those rabbit issues um, don't know if you can see him on the picture on the screen now he's uh, just laid down prone position top left of the fenced off garden area as we look at it on the screen and um, he came down last night had a few hours on the field and uh, this is what he got nice selection there he actually got more than that he got a, an extra rabbit he's six in total but couldn't retrieve one of them it was buried in the nettles at the back of the chicken coop and he also got a couple of pigeons as well which unfortunately he also couldn't retrieve but uh, good result thanks very much to Matt for that for helping out with the pesky rabbit problem and uh, I'm sure he'll be back down again at some point in the future to take out a few more I've just collected another two eggs I've had a bit of a clean out which is nice little red ones the red ones always come to see what I'm doing in here it's unbelievable I've topped the water and the feed up but uh, I've deliberately left this one sitting on the nest box I have a feeling that's the same one that was sitting last week she's not moved all morning so she's obviously feeding a bit broody so I'll not disturb her I'll leave her to it and we'll see what she's doing tomorrow well a bit of a short day today mist keeps rolling in drizzle keeps coming <laughs> I was uh, toying with the idea of doing those paving slabs but in all honesty it's just a bit too wet and I think I'd just make a big mud bath so I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow with the weather everything's all locked up we'll keep an eye on the raised beds fingers crossed we don't get a repeat performance <laughs> for the birds but uh, yeah I guess you'll find out in future videos so a bit of an early finish today I'm going to take the opportunity to pop into the shops have a little browse it's something I don't get to do very often if I find any bargains I'll let you know well that's it for this video I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you if you did like the video please do click on the like button also feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so as always welcome any comments questions or suggestions you might have are you having pest problems be it birds slugs or pesky rabbits and uh, how's your garden doing are you having problems with your plants this year how far back are yours given the, the weather we've had let me know in the comments section below but for now thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video